maybe the most important bit is like how you go about making decisions so um yeah i think decision science is your is really your forte it is so um can you just tell me sort of like how decision science is decision science is sort of related to data science and you know oh okay like? so so this is a place where the branding is awful and the words are confusing and so a little bit about the history so decision sciences not decision science singular decision sciences plural used to refer to the collection of disciplines that had something to say about decision making so you would think about your economics psychology neuroscience you know your classic candidates and of course you would also start to bring in the operations researches and statistics ai and this is a bucket that was rendered deeply unsexy many decades ago it's when i think about what brand colors might make sense there it's like that grayish green of excel like no one's excited about it and i think that that is because it was interrogated a bit before its time now decision intelligence is the discipline of turning information into better action in any setting at any scale and how this is different from the decision sciences is not only is it a modern look but it's also very impatient with the idea that you have to stop once there's data right that like it's some soft thing and you did your pros and cons list and then ah now you have petabytes of data well oh no you you have to hand it off to the ai person i know you should be able to if you were truly an expert in decision making you should be able to turn information into better action any scale any setting no stopping not with petabytes of data not with uh no formally written down data at all but how do we think about making the most out of 10 lunch conversations to make a career decision you should be able to handle any of it and so that's a kind of academic umbrella a more modern one that pulls into it everything that every discipline would have to say about decision making with zero patience for um throwing your hands up in the air and running away screaming when we get to the data science side of things so then in that setting data science is part of decision intelligence the decision sciences the traditional ones which were not highly quantitative are also part of that umbrella but all the bits in those disciplines that has very little to do with decision making is now you know another major's required reading and just for interest reading in this one uh, so decision intelligence is the ruthless pursuit of better decision making everything that you would need to know from every point of view that is specifically about better decisions if if decision making is turning information into action you better be really good at information the data science piece is there you'd also have to contend with the judgment piece now in psychology uh, they tend to call their decision making discipline judgment and decision making the judgment piece is about selecting the way that you want to decide in the first place. There's not one right way to do that. And so there are smarter ways to frame your decisions. There are dumber ways, but there's not one right way, which makes things very exciting. It's, um, it also is fun to realize if you have a graduate degree in statistics, like I do, at some point, hopefully in your degree, you realize, my goodness, my entire degree, the judgment piece was done for me by my professors. I have never been taught to do this. The hypotheses were there and I had to use the methodology that I was taught to most effectively test them. But the why was never there. In fact, you almost get the opposite habit. You are disincentivized from questioning whether the problem is worth working on you're incentivized towards type three error because it's some totally inane thing, some hypothesis about a bunch of rabbits that Sally has in a field. And instead of saying, why the hell am I dealing with this professor? You're just like, okay, we will distribution, blah, blah, blah. So that first judgment piece of how are we gonna go about structuring our decision in the first place? So, so important also under that umbrella. Now, decision science um, today is kind of confusing because it's um I, I think that i probably didn't help very much because i was one of the, the big advocates in this space and i chose to go from chief data scientist title to chief decision scientist title the reason i chose chief decision scientist and not something with decision intelligence 
is that um, well, we joked about it. I'd be like, I'm chief decision intelligence, whatnot. But, you know, it, it, it's not pithy. So I was just like, all right, I'm going to flip data scientist to decision scientist to make a nod for the importance of decisions as the why that kicks off all the data stuff, like information on its own. If it falls in a forest, who the hell cares? It's, it's through our decisions, through our actions that we affect the world around us. So decisions are the important bit. I want to really point that out even in the title. And then, you know, the people, more people got excited by that. And now there's decision scientists all around. Now, I would say that if I had to set like a general direction for what a decision scientist would have to be for me to accept them as a decision scientist, is that they would have to be trained in at least some aspects of decision making, but that their role, the way that they would execute it, is not as decision makers, but as decision advisors who have the humility to if they are helping a decision maker figure out, say, between A and B, to absolutely not care about A and B. And this is a weird thing to say. But when I do decision science advising, um, I have to really, truly embody not caring about the options and caring only that the decision is made as well as possible. So it's not me who's making the decision. It's not me thinking, like, I like A, so I'm going to nudge this decision maker into A. Or the decision maker's already chosen A. Let me help them feel better about the A that they've chosen. Instead, I'm going to make sure that this decision is made as well as possible. So I'm going to take my trained decision-making brain and I'm going to let the decision maker borrow it for a bit, but through their eyes. They're the actual decision maker. What's important to them, their priorities. I'm going to help them make sure they've thought of everything, but in their own way. So somebody who does that professionally, I would say, great, I would love to call you a decision scientist um, and somebody who studies that uh, as well. So that's how it all fits in. Uh, some people also love to say decision science is the qualitative piece and the data science is the quantitative piece within decision intelligence. And this is where we realize that things need tighter branding, otherwise we will get confused. But that really is in a nutshell the, the genesis of the mess.